Hey guys, and welcome back to another bullet journal planning slash school video. Now, before I get started, I did want to say thank you guys again for all of your support. I can't believe how fast my channel is growing, and it's all because of all the support and nice comments and likes and sharing that all of you guys do. Um, for anyone that's new here, maybe you know just now scanning through my videos, be sure to click subscribe just so you can keep up with all the content that I'm posting. And I'm sure you guys have heard this all around YouTube, but I believe people are being like randomly um, unsubscribed or their videos aren't showing up in people's feeds. So be sure to click the notification bell below and that way you can get notified when I post something new. And I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I normally voice over my videos after the fact because there's normally a lot of noise going on in the hallway or cars honking or Dustin's home and he's moving around, the dog is barking. So I try to not do it at the same time, but I'm trying that out today so you guys can let me know and give me some feedback if you like that or not. But I think this is just a faster way of editing and getting videos out to you guys. So you may hear some of my loud neighbors in the hallway and I apologize if you do and that you know if it's distracting but I want to try something new just so I can crank out more content for you guys so without further ado let's jump into this video now as you know I've had this new bullet journal kind of like my general bullet journal that I use for all of my daily planning and things like that I'm um, keeping up with my meals keeping up with my YouTube channel but I decided after some time that this was not going to be enough for me to also keep up with school. It's not that I don't have the space, it's mostly because it's just too much going on in one place and I'd rather have school separate. I went out and got the smaller version of that Lloyd's term that I had and it's also soft cover. So this one is specifically for school. It is the Leuchtturm 1917 model, and I believe it only has 124 pages, so it's a tiny bit smaller, and like I said, no hardcover. But I, I like it to be this size because it's easy to carry around to classes and in my bag, and in the end, I don't plan to do as much um, as far as like embellishments and random pages. This is just to get to the point and to get my classes planned for and keep everything in a central place. So I'm loving it so far. And on the front, you can see here, I use my embossing labeler and I put, be cool, stay in school. I feel like I used to always hear that when I was younger and in classes, like in the 90s. So I figured, why not? So we're gonna go ahead and jump in. You guys will see like these little sticky animals all over and it's only because, you know, it just has private information that I'd rather not share all over the internet. So anyways, I have my name and then I have my school email. So if someone finds this, they will hopefully get it back to me. Okay, and here I have my index. I haven't really started to use it yet, but you guys see I've written down the spring 2017 classes. Okay, and here we have my 2017 uh, classes at a glance or spring classes and I am taking four courses this semester, which means I am a full-time student. So full-time student, blogger, YouTuber. Um, I run a second channel with my fiance and then I'm also working full-time at a company. So yeah I don't really have much of a life anymore but you know you got to have goals and I think this is a really good way to kind of jump start my, my new career and kind of get things going I mean things I've always wanted to do anyway so I'm taking four courses filmmaking studio one journalism basics pathways to learning and intro to media studies all of these are pretty self-explanatory except for this one um, pathways to learning is basically like an intro class for students that are new to that school um, to kind of get acclimated and learn what all their resources are because we are new and it's a lot being thrown at you at once, especially in the first month. So that's a pretty cool course. And what I love about my school is that we're able to kind of cater our, our classes to what we want our degree to be. And it, it is an accredited university. It is a normal school, but they just kind of do things differently and I love it. So that's what I'm doing right now for this semester. Pray for me. Okay. And then here is the February monthly spread. You guys saw that I don't really have a, a key in this bullet journal and it's because really my only key are gonna be for my four courses here. And I basically just color code them using my mild liners. You guys have seen these in some of my other bullet journal videos and they work perfect for this purpose. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys here, kind of move it over. But 
the key here is gonna have four different colors, one for each course. And then when I fill it out into my weekly view, you can see I just color them in throughout just so I know which class or which kind of homework I need to be working on. And then over here, this was actually a mistake. It's very obvious that I did too many days in the week, but I decided to be creative and actually turn that into a homework hours graph. And then for each day, I basically put down you know, how many hours I've studied and for what class, again, with its corresponding color. Now you can see here, I did my graph wrong. It shouldn't be hours on the bottom, that should say courses. So I'm actually gonna wipe that out and I'll come back in and edit that later. I won't do it right now, but that should say courses instead of hours. Then I basically just jump back into a weekly spread because I figured why not? This is what I'm used to is what I do in my other bullet journal. So I just put down what the week was and then what I have to do for each class. Kind of learn to keep up with all the color coding and what they mean. And it's just kind of ingrained in my memory. Like I just know what every color means and it's just easier to keep up with my classes this way. And then the rest is empty. So as you guys can see, I don't do too much with this journal because it's not all about frills and trying to make it pretty and doing all these random trackers because it's just too much you guys can see that I have a pretty full plate so I'd rather just keep it simple and not overdo it and make it overwhelming so that is my school planning slash bullet journal and I hope you guys like it and if you want to see more videos on how I keep up with this definitely let me know but I know not everyone is in school or cares about you know keeping up with school but that's my journal Okay, so we're gonna start out with my film studio notebook. And I've already got a lot of notes in here because this is definitely a challenging course for me. Um, this class is very hands-on, but there are days that we sit down and we kind of watch film or we evaluate a, a specific subject. And at those times, I take notes. So here you guys can see, I'm definitely a doodler. I like to draw. I drew out like all the motors and gadgets and buttons because it's just easier for me to understand if I'm able to draw it and kind of point an arrow. To what I'm talking about. Some more drawings, uh, basics of cinematography, and then here you'll see more notes, and this is specifically on the type of camera that we're working with for class. And keep in mind that I think about maybe at this point, all these notes were taken at home. So you can see they're a little bit neater. I was able to take my time, but when I'm in class, I'm a fast writer because I have to keep up. And again, remember that this particular teacher does not like electronics in his class so a notebook and pen is like a definite you cannot pull out your phone or an iPad or anything like that and I understand you know where he's coming from so here's a film that we were evaluating and then notes from a specific um, director that we're studying so that is what I've done so far and I have all this way to go so I think this notebook should last me all semester which is awesome now here we have media studies this is an online course so I definitely take my notes at my own pace so I skipped a few pages just in case I, I decided to put anything else in there and then here you can see my intro notes going in so again even more notes and like I said they are more organized and neat because this is an online course and I can do it at home and that's all I've got so far and that is media studies here is that pathways course that I mentioned to you guys which is for you know new students joining the school and I've already started taking some notes here but not too much and that's all that's in this notebook not too much and then my journalism basics I'm not even gonna open because I have nothing in here to the Muji store and purchase this one because it just made sense that I had four there's no reason for me to have three and then take like journalism notes online and these folders I got off of Amazon so here it is I have this turned over because it's my syllabus with all my information on it but here are just some notes and things that we are reading for our media studies course and I like to print it out because then it, if I'm on the train I'm on the go I can quickly just bring it up and read it and then put it back in my purse so and I do a lot of reading on the train you guys would be surprised um, but this is how I keep organized and how I kind of keep up with all my loose paper because I just hate it getting crumpled up and again I'd rather not have it on a phone and have my phone die or it's not accessible to me and then I can't get my reading done so I just print it out so that's how I keep up with any loose paper okay and when it comes to writing tools I just keep up with the normal tools that I use for every day like bullet journaling and for work 
I have my mild liners that I stick to. I have my white out pen, my eraser, pencils. I got this pencil from Muji recently and I really like it. So this is what I use to kind of carry around all my pencils and pens, things like that. Okay, and when it comes to textbooks, um, these are the only two that I need and it's only for my film course. One is pretty small and then the other one's pretty meaty. Like, I don't know if I want to carry this around every day, but we'll see. This was only 20 bucks and this was about 12. So not bad for a whole semester of books, only about 30, 40 bucks and I got everything I need. Now my phone is definitely a tool that I use for school and it's because I use a specific app to help me with studying and to kind of keep me engaged. This is the non-sponsored app but I saw someone else using it for a study with me video and now that I use it I'm addicted to it but it's called Forest and you pretty much get to choose like what time increment you want for your studying session and basically as long as you don't like mess with your phone or try to go on social media or anything like that you will be able to grow a little plant into a tree. So I thought that was pretty cute and I definitely use it every time I study now and I'm also able to look back on my you know previous days or previous weeks and see how productive I actually was so you guys should check it out it is a free app and I think it's really cool and um, as you guys have seen I believe in my November favorites were like it was some some type of favorites video last year um, I have my MacBook Pro which definitely does the job it does everything that I need it's lightweight it's perfect for school and I also use it for work so that is about it you guys I really hope you enjoyed this video if you guys enjoy like study with me type videos if you want to see more about how I take notes for classes definitely let me know in the comment section I just didn't want to overwhelm you guys with college stuff if you didn't want to see it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for all of your love if you are not subscribed be sure to go ahead and do that and thanks again I will see you in the next one bye guys Baby